For this problem, we have an operational amplifier circuit shown. We're asked what is the percentage error in the closed loop voltage gain due to the finite open loop voltage gain of our op amp. We can assume that the op amp has a open loop voltage gain of 21 volts per volts and is ideal in all other respects. And then we're given R1 and R2. And just to solve this, we would look in the notes link below the like button and we have a formula, an equation for an inverting amp and a non-inverting amp. What we have here is a inverting amp. And the reason why it's an inverting amp is because we have our voltage input going into the negative part here and non-inverting would just be the opposite of that. Um, and then after we do that, we would just take the percent difference. So we would look at these notes, which are not below, but the percent error is equal to our actual value which is the value that we would calculate minus our ideal value, which is the value we would find with our resistors through the transfer function. And we would divide it by the e ideal value times 100%. Um, but now we're going to solve for it and we're gonna go step by step. So uh, we know that our gain is equivalent to our two resistors over each other for an inverting amplifier. In other words, we can say H of S is equal to our V naught over V input and it is equal to a negative, and we're gonna have our R2 over our R1. And if we did the transfer function with the, uh, I believe it's in the node voltage method, we would take this node, which is the VN, and we would look at all the currents going into it, set it equal to zero, and we would get this equation. Um, but this is standard and we know this. So we are going to use this, and that means we are going to plug in our resistor values. We're gonna have 99.9 .9 divided by 3.5. The kilo ohms are gonna cancel out. And this is gonna give us a value of 28.54 approximately. And this is going to be our ideal value. And that is found through resistors. Now that we know our ideal value, we can solve for our actual value. And our actual value is with the formula, and this is in the notes link below the like button, for our inverting amp. Um, we go into more detail about it right here, and but that's about it. So we go into more detail in the notes uh, but that's the equation that we are going to be using. We again have our V out over our V input, and it's at equal to our negative R2 over R1. So we are just gonna have this as negative R2 over R1. And then inside of here, we have our one, one plus R2 over R1, and this is all divided by A. Now to save time, I just put this into a calculator right here uh, with symbol lab and we got approximately negative 11.86. So the answer here is negative 11.86. And since we actually took the time to go and calculate this, this is our actual value. Now we need to take the percent error. So this is our next step. Um, if we look at the instruction again, we have our operational amplifier, closed loop voltage gain due to the finite open loop voltage gain output. Um, the percent error is what we need to find because that's what it's asking us for. So to find the percent error, what we're gonna have is our actual value again, 11.86 minus our ideal value. And I forgot to bring this negative right here. So we're gonna have a negative 28.54. So we have minus a negative 28.54. Uh, we have absolute values for this. This becomes a positive. And this is over our ideal value, which is 28.54. And then for a percent difference, we multiply this by 100. So if we plug all this into a calculator, we are going to get 58.45, and this is our percentage. Now, this is not our correct answer. Whenever we're calculating the gain, we're gonna want it lower than what the value we have. So we know our actual value is negative 11.86, and our ideal value is negative 28.54. So obviously our calculation is a lot lower and that's where the negative comes from. If we're looking for just the closed loop gain, which is what we have here, which is the voltage input to the voltage output, which is what we did, we are going to use this formula. And if we are just looking for the open loop voltage, because it says it's due to the finite open loop voltage, if we were looking for this open loop voltage, it would just be the A inside of here. And that is the difference for what we would be doing here. 